Welcome to another episode of 10 Minute Land Surveyor. I'm Dave Woolley. Today I'm going to be talking about survey grade GPS, which is offered by most GPS vendors and it's commonly advertised as being sub centimeter accuracy. For those not familiar with the metric system, a centimeter is about three eighths of an inch or three hundredths of one foot. You might be surprised to realize that your sub centimeter survey grade GPS is off several feet. Now stop and think about that. In, on any given project, what would it mean if whatever you offered a value on, a, a location on, was off one foot, two feet, 13 feet? What would that mean to you and what would that mean to your client? I'm going to explain this to you today. One of the most common errors is a misunderstanding of the difference between survey feet and international feet or U.S. survey feet and international feet. If you were to Google it and you look it up, it's going to say that the difference is relatively small. And it's going to tell you that the approximate difference is two parts per million, which means you'd be off about two feet in a million feet. That becomes an important number later, as I'll show you. Or it also is equal to an eighth of an inch or a hundredth of a foot in a mile. So common sense would say, well, an eighth of an inch or a hundredth of a foot in a mile is not really a concern to me or my project. And I would say that's an error. When I say that's an error, I've been involved in several lawsuits in which this has come up. Why? Let me show you. What you see here on the screen is a zone six coordinate. This is right in the middle of Orange County. I've rounded the northings and eastings to the nearest foot and the elevation. So what you see here is a, a northing, easting, elevation. And you'll notice that the California State Plain Coordinate System has a 2 million, 6 million coordinate base, approximately. It's an even, even meter. So when you see these numbers, this is 1.8 million. This is 6.6 .6 million feet. Well, how many feet are in a mile? 5,280. So if you take 5,280 and you divide it into my northing, you have 346 miles in my northing. And the same, you have 1,253 miles in my easting. And if that's a hundredth per mile, that means I'm 3.46 and 12.53 feet off. So if I have a project laid out in US survey feet, and I have either put this through international feet in my AutoCAD system, or I put it through international feet and my data collector, here's the result. These are my northings. This is 3.46 feet off. And this is my eastings. And this would be 12.53 feet off. And the hypotenuse in a coordinate system would be 13 feet, as you see here. So to, to reiterate that, toggling between US survey feet and international feet will cause a 13 foot problem here in Southern California. Presuming that you've successfully navigated between US survey feet and international feet with your survey grade GPS, the next concern that you'll have are coordinate epochs. California rests on tectonic plates, which means that we're moving in a northwesterly direction. Take a look at the screen. What you see here is 50 millimeters a year. And that's almost two inches, just under two inches a year, or about 14 hundredths a year, moving in a northwesterly direction. And you can see these are arrows showing the direction. Now, if you go over here to Zona, or you go over here to Nevada, you'll notice that that's a gray area that moves less than three centimeter or three millimeters a year. And so that's about a hundredth of a foot a year. And uh, frankly, it's not much of a concern, but you will notice that it's moving in this direction. Here in Mexico, in California, we have some of these areas that are moving 50 millimeters or almost two inches a year. So what does that mean? Well, coordinates are time stamped uh, because we need to compensate for this movement. In California, we date stamp our coordinates with an epic. And the most commonly used initial epic was 9135. And so that's a 1991 epic, which we captured a coordinate and that was the coordinate basis 
for all the work done at the time. And most GIS systems were set up on the 9135. And Caltrans currently still uses the 9135 in some of the work that I'm on. But what you see on the screen here is this is a, a GPS station right in the middle of Orange County. It's called Track. And down here you see the 9135 Epic. And you may not be able to read this, but what you see here is that between 1991 and 2017.5, which is the current Epic, we have 3.46 feet different, or seven feet different. What that means is, is that the coordinate system that I did my GIS system on, and let's say 96, 97, 98, I was on a 91.35. Now I go out and I'm measuring positions, locations of whatever it may be, stop signs, monuments, uh, inventorying something with my GPS system in a 2017.5, that means that every coordinate that I bring into that GIS system is off 3.47 feet. Now in different parts of the county and certainly different parts of the state, it will be more than that and in some instances less than that. But you need to understand what epics are and you need to be on a common epic, otherwise you will have several feet different. Now think about this, 2017.5, that's eight years ago now, almost eight years ago. And so that means that we're gonna have almost uh, a little more than a foot on top of the 2017.5. So if you went out and created a brand new GIS system in 2017.5 Epic, we have more than a foot difference between the 2017, the most current Epic today. When you go by your sub centimeter survey grade GPS, oftentimes you're getting what's called a real time coordinate. And that means that's a coordinate you're getting today. So that means that you're over a foot difference today than you are in the published Epic. 2017.5 means that you're almost five feet different than most GIS systems that are currently in a 1991.35 epic. The California Public Resource Code says that GPS work must be on a published epic. And the reason is, is they understand that there's a difference. And if you cannot mix and match epics without moving several feet, being that this is a 10 minute land surveyor video, there's a lot to be discussed. I'm gonna be doing an additional video on EPICS and the California Public Resource Code. But in the meantime, I would refer you to an article by Rich Maher, another Orange County member. And this is in uh, XYHT Magazine, which used to be POB. You'll see that he has the graphics. He has a very good explanation of this. Just Google Richard Maher, M-A-H-E-R, X-H-Y-T Magazine. And you'll see here on the screen that uh, we, Rich actually discusses some of the uh, California Public Resource Code. And there's the correct spelling of his name. If you've purchased your sub-centimeter survey grade GPS, you should not be surprised when the locations that you produce with that GPS are off several feet from the GIS system that they're going into. If you jump datums to the 2022 datum, you're gonna be off about 13 feet. Pack away your clown shoes, put away your mini bikes, and if you're gonna be using sub-centimeter GPS, you better understand epics, in the difference between international feet and U.S. survey feet. Thank you and have a nice day.